Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the privileges of being in the body of Christ. And we have come together to watch the miracle of your love and the power of your spirit work in the lives of these two people. We give you the praise, the honor, and the glory for your presence with us on this day, for the union of these two people. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. amen. As I read the scripture from the fifth chapter of the book of Ephesians, I want you both to pay very close attention to the words that are stated here. They are the words from God's word that the Holy Spirit will honor when you stand on them. The world has an idea that marriage is simply a legal contract. It is a legal contract and we do not make light of that. However, at the same time, it is a spiritual contract. When the words of faith are spoken according to the word of God between the two born again believers, the power of God goes into operation. There's an actual miracle that takes place when the word of faith of these two people is released in God's power. God honors their faith and brings them together in union. With these thoughts in mind, listen very carefully to these words. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own body. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever yet hateth his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it even as the Lord the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself. And the wife see that she reverence her husband. Antoine, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Yes, I have. Carlo, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Yes, I have. If you want, if you do understand that you rightly discern the body of Christ and you rightly discern the miracle that takes place in marriage, your spirits will be joined together and you become one. You will not be one just in the eyes of the law. There is something much more powerful that happens. The very creative power of God will join the two of you together. The same power that joined you with Jesus when you made him your Lord will join you two together. Do not ever tamper with that union. The love of God does not say, I love you, but do you really love me? The love of God says very simply, I love you. And that is all that it ever says. Do not ever temper with this miracle. Do not ever let the sun go down on your wrath. Something holy, something beyond reproach will take place by the Spirit of God inside your spirit. And it is a precious thing. Antoine, do you take the Carlo as your wife, as your own flesh, to love her even as Christ loves the church? 
to protect her and care for her for the rest of your lives. Then at this time, make your own declaration and vow unto her. Bible says, when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. I find a great thing. The call up. Do you take Antoine as your husband, submitting yourself to him as unto the Lord, showing reverence to him as the head of the union for the rest of your life? I do. Then, will you take this opportunity to declare your love and vow to him? <laughs> Antoine, my life has changed so much for the better since I met you. God has placed you into my life for a reason and for a lifetime. There was a time that I couldn't imagine having a partner, partner that gen genuinely loves and cares for me. I couldn't imagine having a partner that has my best interests at heart and loves me for who I am. Now that you have come in and given me that, I can't imagine life without you. On our first date, you told me all about your family. You spoke so highly of everyone, and you named everyone by name, as if you knew that I would meet them all. In my mind, of course, I found it odd that a man would talk on and on about his mom and his grandmothers <laughs> on a first date. <laughs> but it was so endearing, and I couldn't help but let the thought cross my mind that one day you would be speaking so highly and protective of me and that, you, that I would be joining your family. Since that first date, and these three and a half years together, we've experienced life's ups and downs and helped each other through some trying times. When I had to spend those 14 days abroad in isolation, and you were so far away, it became even more crystal clear who and what are the most important in my life. I don't ever want to be away from you for that long again. I need you by my side. Since we met, you have been right there, solid. Nothing that I have said or done has scared you away for one second. You let me be me, you accept and encourage me to be more of who I am. Since we met, not a day has passed since we've gone without speaking. That we've gone without speaking. Since we first said I love you, not a day has passed that we have not gone without saying it and showing it to each other. Now that you stand here in front of me, I just want to tell you once again, in front of God and everybody, how much I am in love with you. I'm ready for you to take the lead as my husband as we honor Christ at the center of our marriage. I promise to take care of your heart. I promise to continue to love, cherish, be faithful, and respect you for the rest of our life together. I thank God for you every day, and I look forward to our future. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> May I have the bride's ring, really, please? <laughs> a ring is a very precious thing, a token of your faith and your love. This ring is made out of precious metal. It is a never-ending circle that indicates the continual love of God, a love that never fails, never presents itself haughty nor fucked up. The love of God and the faith of God is what causes His power to move in your lives. I want you to wear these rings as a continual reminder of your faith, a continual reminder of the confession of faith you have made to each other, and most importantly, to God. 
the word of God says, above all, take the shield of faith, wherewith we shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. If anyone could break up this union, it would be Satan. So give him no place. Give him absolutely no place, for this is forever. Take this ring and place it on her finger and say this to her. With this ring I be wed. It is a token of my love for you and a token of my faith that I release now. In Jesus' name. A ring can mean two different things. It could be a never-ending sign of love or it can be a shackle. I'm going to charge you with a memory you should always remember. Antoine, this woman stands by your side, not under your feet. You have the responsibility of being the head of this union. You have spiritual responsibility. I want you to wear this ring in remembrance that she is your helpmate. It must never be a shackle of dominance but always a reminder of faith and love. I want you to place his ring on his finger with these things in mind. There is no place in the word of God that gives people the right to dominate one another. Your vows have stated that you submit to one another and responsibilities of this life, expecting God and his power to always make the difference. So place this ring on his finger and say this to him. With this ring I be wed. I give it as a token of my faith. I believe with all my heart that this is forever. It is my love and my faith. In Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, as we come before you on this day, as I stand as a representative of you in the earth ring, I now pronounce upon them the blessings of heaven. I thank you, God, that this union is now blessed. God, I thank you that they are blessed in the city and they are blessed in the field. They are blessed in their goings and they are blessed in their comings. They are blessed in their risings and they are blessed in their cities. God, I thank you that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. God, use this union for your glory and for your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We'll join right hands, please. <laughs> As a representative of Jesus Christ before Almighty God, and in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the power of the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you one together. You are husband and wife. You may Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Antoine Davis.